And we are live in Philadelphia for the San Diego Padres. The San Diego Padres. I, 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 I am like miffed by this. Um, it has the San Diego Padres being 37 and 26. 11 games over 500. Okay? It's like, I can't, I can't even fathom a world in this, which just happens. It is just unbelievable. They got Josh Johnson, he's an he's awesome pitcher. And that's who I got to face off against, day one. And I get to throw Roberto Hernandez at him. Something in the world is just not right. They have four pitchers in the upper, in the uh, lower 80s and stuff as their starting pitchers. So they have four decent pitchers. I have three guys, three guys and stuff and everything that are good, really, really good. Cole Hamels and typically it's a 90 and Peavy's in 82. But it's unbelievable that they have this kind of talent. So we're going to stick with our standard batting order. We're not changing anything for today. And of course, we're playing at the link. But it's unbelievable that San Diego has that much of a record. Um, I'm about to look at the standings on my uh, app because I'm like, I'm like, what the heck are the San Diego Padres doing in real life? Let's see here. And the NL West, they are five games under 500. So it's like they're eight and a half games behind first in, in real life. And somehow they're really doing a kick-up job and everything in this in this version here. It is it's craziness. Of course, then again, you got the freaking Mets and stuff and everything showing utter dominance here. So uh, the good news is you see the Phillies were uh, half game above the Marlins. Um, we're actually moving up in the standing slowly but surely. Got to win this game here and everything and start uh, getting ready to attack the Braves and the Nationals to try to get a second. Crushing defeat yesterday. Can't believe the bullpen failed out on me uh, again last night. I was super tired. Um, but now it's the middle of the day. I'm ready to go. The uh, family went to the pool for the action. Phillies baseball starts right now. And that was a, that's a new fresh sign. That's a different sign than what they're used to showing. So that's really cool. It's like they're going, giving something new and different. Local sound was a little high. And the Phillies. Let's see what we can do here to swing around things here. I don't need to see him with us. I'm going to keep that guy off base. 21 stolen bases. Tells me he's a little too fast for my taste. I have to get the ball fast out of my infield right away. Now Hernandez is not much of a strikeout pitcher. Uh, I think he was safe anyway. And you know, any way you can get on base, you just take it. Here he just puts the ball in play. Doesn't hit it all that hard, but he's able to leg it out at first base, and he's on to start this ball game. Okay, now I gotta go with fastball high, because yeah, they gave him a base hit. If anything's up here with nobody out, they'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Oh, come on, and I really want that pitch. Be careful that you don't speed up your delivery too much with a base still on first, or you might wind up walking this guy, too. Let's change up here. Oh, that's out of here. But he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And that is into the right field seats. It's a home Two change-ups in the strike zone. Something I got to know better. Number 10 for him on the year. As the Padres have taken a two to nothing lead. Got my bottom, one of my bottom feeder pitchers pitching. Yonder Alonso steps in now. And he 
starts to go after it. Well, he struggled against Josh Johnson when he was with the uh, Marlins. And the sinker is over here, and that evens things at once. Now a ball hit on the ground for Rollins at short. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Jed Jerko will get his first cups here. Starts him out with a sinker that's inside. And so I get some solid Twitch followers. Um, I'm going to continue my thing of broadcasting the Twitch and then exporting it to YouTube. It's the easiest way to go, to be honest with you. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. There to get it is Utley. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. The biggest thing I upload rate on your, uh, on your internet. Will Venable will stand in now, hoping to turn things around as he's stuck in a bit of a cold spell these past five ball games. I get about 12 up on my uh, on my cable modem. You get a 12 up, it's pretty good. It's 50 down. It's a sinker to start him out, but he wouldn't bite. It's ball one. You get that, you can pretty much do a nice screen right to twist. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And he gets a piece of it here, but it's chopped foul. Oh, Swing and he boy. pulls the fastball that time. High in the air toward Philly. That was over right now. And Bird will camp under this one, and the inning is over. Padres get a couple of runs in the inning on the two-run home run. On to the bottom of the first. It's now 2-0 San Diego. I'd like to see it where some year when it's like visiting team hit the ball out of the ballpark, some a fan will throw the ball back. Now there's a typical sign that they normally show. So we're set to go for the home half of inning number one. I see the swing at that. Routine fly ball out towards center. Venable is right there. One pitch, one away. You gotta remember, I gotta use Gwyn more as a regular leadoff hitter just to get on base. I must be you know it's like you've seen me like play most of the season. You didn't see the first couple months of the season where I was playing um, playing with the pass counts on the PS3 mode. Where it seemed to actually help in everything on there because it was, it was like it seemed faster. On the PS4 it, it doesn't seem as fast as the PS3 mode. I don't know why. I think it might be some more higher animations and just makes it seem slower. Which makes full games and stuff just about... 10 minutes longer and you get a better baseball performance and a better baseball season. I'd rather go with having full counts. It just makes more sense. That way I'm controlling my own destiny. I'm not wearing out my pictures extra more because of what the computer is guessing. I'm not getting any first pitch swings at a, at a back batting count. There's no, you're never giving an 0 count so my pitcher is not worn out. Chase Utley will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. And a swing oh, and a man. pitch in the dirt, and it's strike one. And for there's as some, bad as he there's is, some pitchers that you want to swing right away. We're going to see that again before this at bat's over. This guy's kicking my butt. Ah, not able to hold on there as he can't hit him. Pitch in the dirt, and it doesn't look good for him now. Down 0-2. Yeah, he was out front right there, probably guessing fastball. But now, 0-2, you can't be guessing anymore. You're going to find something in the strike zone and put it in play. And the 
Oh, to yeah. Get the chase, but he holds off. It's one and two. Hmm. Oh, here's a hard hit ball, but right to the second baseman, Jerko. Needed just a little more height on that one, but instead, the inning is over. Phillies down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Chase Headley will dig in. Currently fifth in the National League in batting to begin play. Here's the first pitch to him. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. There are the batting leaders in the National League, of which we spoke just a moment ago. Fastball called, strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. Well, a little surprising you wouldn't pull the trigger on that one right there. This isn't anything fancy. Just a right over the top four seam fastball, absolutely frozen. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. Here's the 0-1 now to Smith. And here's a swing and a miss as he falls behind nothing and two. And he takes a big swing here, but this winds up a little tapper to the left of the mound. Oh, come on! Gonna be in time to get him, and somehow he's going to wind up with an infield single. Much easier to do in retrospect, but... You almost wonder if he would have been better served to let this ball go and see if it would have gone foul. There's no, no guarantees it would have. Safe, but, oh, that was frustrating. A tough play. I had the throw animation all set. I had Monty it preloaded. Get his first opportunity here, and as you can see, he's got that average up over the 290 mark to begin play. Nothing I feel like you do about that play. Strike one. One and one. Oh, he wanted that one. Probably should have got it too. Now a bluff here as he steps off to look him back at first. And this one's in there. Maybe should have been strike three, but instead it's one and two now. Swing and a grounder fouled, and that almost took the first base coach along with it. And a swing and a ball hit foul heading for the seats. So another foul ball here, and it remains one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Ooh, there's a tough one to take right there on a one and two pitch, especially after fighting off Got seven him. pitches leading up to that one. He takes strike three called on the fastball. Couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. Looks like he's finding his bearings here a little bit better in the second after a rough first inning. He gets the strikeout right here, but boy, he could have used one of these an inning ago, that's for sure. And just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Two out with the man at first. And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Right there at the belt, one and two now. He's ready, now the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Foul back. And two and two. Yeah, sort of a pesky at bat up there. You know he'd just love to fire one more fastball. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. One left for San Diego. They're up two to nothing. Ryan Howard will stand in now, and obviously one to be careful with, as you see there, currently leading the senior circuit in long balls. Good fastball out of Johnson there, and it's strike one. And there is the full list of home run leaders we alluded to a moment ago. Now here's a swing by Howard, and the big fella launches this one out to deep right field. And the home half of the second begins with a home run. A 
solo shot there for Ryan Howard. Number 18 for him on the campaign. And the Phillies have cut the lead in half. It's now a 2-1 to one game. That was a huge home run for Howard. And about the only silver lining to this one from a defensive standpoint is the fact that it came with the bases empty leading off an inning. So you can survive it when this guy's hitting just solo shots. It's when he's doing his damage with two or three guys on base that things can really get out of hand in a hurry. Carlos Ruiz is at the plate as he looks at ball one. Just got to remember to be patient. Same with him, you gotta be patient. You gotta look for the fastballs and hope to hit him. The 1 0. And it runs outside, so it goes to 2 0 now. Two times here they've gone away, both pretty easy takes. And as a hitter, now I'm thinking it might be time they try to bust something inside. And he gets on top of this one. It's too low. Shouldn't have swung. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch. But anybody with speed, I would have had the, the chance there. there. Dominic Brown will stand in now. And as you can see, he enters play with 16 home runs on the season so far. Uh, he was fighting that swing the whole way, but he went around. It's no balls and a strike. He threw it as hard as he does, and he has like 94 miles an hour. Oh, one pitch, and oh. he can't make contact on the bender. Oh, and he threw something in the 70s, he had to throw it in the mid 90s. Looked like he had to wait to see if it was going to be anywhere close. This is why I hate guess pitching or anything. Guess pitch, they show you exactly where it is. So if you guess the pitch, you know the speed of it. It's like, normally you can't know that until the ball is already on the way. You already have to be thinking that. You're not being told beforehand and everything when the guy has it. Oh, this pitch is coming. It's just, I, I never understood that. It's just pure stupidity. So if anybody plays a guest pitch on your pool, you really don't know what you're doing. You watch anybody else that watches this and stuff, and they have guest pitch on, they don't know how to play baseball. You have to watch it. You have to time it. Yes, you're going to swing and look like a four times. But that's baseball. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in now is Marlon Bird. Swing and a ball hit. Should have swung at that. Foul ball. Foul ball here. Yep. 0 and 1. Two outs. I'd like to get a little bit more offense going. Down by one, but back to back fastballs here as he takes control 0 and 2. And this has been a pretty good comeback from that leadoff home run. Two straight outs now and two strikes here as well. And this is swung on and missed. They'll be right, lucky there. The ground, so we'll need to go to first. That's pure luck. What are you doing throwing the ball? And not what he wanted to do there is now they'll need four outs to get out of this inning. Cody actually has been really stepping it up for him. He's been playing a little bit better. The season certainly hasn't been all that kind to him as he enters play with the average down in the 230s. I mean, honestly, if he can end the season at uh, the average of 250, I'll be thrilled. First pitch on its way from Johnson. Oh, and a hearty cut there to begin the at bat. It's nothing in one. Now you've got the tying run over at first. Two away. He's going to be looking to try and find a gap right here and bring that guy all the way around to score. Fastball, and he's quickly in the hole, 0 and 2. Well, that one's at 94, so the velocity's good right now. That's hit hard on the ground, and it'll make go. it through into right field for a two-on single. The thing sucks is now I got the pitcher up. And... Second, so there are two on now with two away. And here's where, on the mound, you got to tell yourself, you did everything right there. This was an 0-2 pitch, and he did a great job of getting him to hit it on the ground. He just happens to find a hole on the right side. What are you going to do? Roberto Hernandez. We'll get a shot now with two on and two out here in inning number two. Runner holding tight at second. Now the pitch in the air to right center. 
Denorfia is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Phillies get one on the home run by the big fella, Ryan Howard. We've played two. It's the Padres two, and the Phillies one. Everett Cabrera is ready to go here as we begin the third. Shortstop, Everett Cabrera. Quite pull that swing back. He went around for strike one. Now the 0 1 is swung on and grounded the other way to third. Oh. And oh, the throw pulls the first baseman off the bag and he'll reach it first. Well, you know, he knew who he had running down the line right there, so he had to try to hurry the throw. But in hindsight, I think he had a little bit more time than even he thought, and he winds up throwing this one away. Chris Denorfia stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And you know, down there at third base, he absolutely wants another shot at a ground ball. Something to try and make up for that error. Pitch is a called strike. The throw, not in time. He's in there at second. And now this will make that error from a second ago hurt a little bit more. You see a good jump that time, and he's in the scoring position now with a stolen base. And no shot. So you're breaking pitches. I didn't even know about it. Here comes a one two. Fouled straight back. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. Where wow. do you go from here? I think he's set up for something off speed. You can put that change up below his knees, you won't come within a foot of it. Old foul off to the left, so he stays alive. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. And this is going to be a foul ball. And they tie him up in proverbial knots there as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Yeah, not a real good job of pitch recognition there. I mean, this ball was going to be in on his hands to begin with. I don't know quite what he saw that made him want to swing at that thing, but it just completely locked him up there. Yonder Alonso will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And here's ball four now on the intentional walk. So that'll set up the double play possibility with one gone. Probably a good move to go ahead and put him on there. Now with one out, they can get the matchup they want, and they can still go after a ground ball to get him out of it. Jed Jerko will stand in. He grounded out his first time. And that's dead center for strike one. Line hard to the left side. Foul. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. Where are you going here? I'm throwing that same pitch again. Make him prove that his plate discipline is such that he can lay off it twice in a row. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Runners are at first and second with one away. Now a swing and a miss on a pitch well out of the strike zone as he becomes the second out. As you can see right here, his timing just seems to be off a little bit at the plate right now. And you know what? That can happen during the course of the season. You're not always going to have your good swing. And he's the kind of guy that's got a lot of moving parts in that swing. So maybe he's at the point now in the season where he might need just a little time off so he can get back to the bases. A decent lead at second. Here's the pitch. Will Venable is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. That's taken. Now it's 0-2. Well, no taken now. He's going to have to swing the bat. And this is going to be a foul ball. And he stays alive as this is grounded foul. Here comes another 0-2. Good waste pitch, 1-2. and two. Still now on 1-2, and two, you don't have to make the perfect pitch out there. The count is still well in your favor on the mound. And here's a swing and a ball lifted in the air into fairly deep center field. 
And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Padres leave a pair as they're unable to add to their 2-1 to lead. Number 19 will be the batter. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Center fielder, number 19. Yeah, it's the second wide swung the first pitch. Well out to deep center field. Venable is there to make the catch, and it's one pitch, one gone here in the bottom of the third. So one gone in the inning as we take a look at what's on tap for the fighting Phils over the course of the next seven days. And we, of course, will have all the action for you right here on the show. One away and Jimmy Rollins will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Now a swing and he just fouls this one away. Changed up on him as this is grounded a second. On to first and very quickly, two are gone here in the home third. Top of the order is just not helping today. So bases are empty here with two gone. And making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. Her ball just misses apparently, 1-0. He to be fair, I thought that was a straight. That's a good eye to just watch it all the way in. And this ball will be chopped foul. Here's a swing, and he loses the bat from his hands as it heads over toward the first base dugout. Looks like everyone's okay, however. Still no fastballs in the at-bat. It's been all off speed. Uh, that's definitely by design. He's such a good fastball hitter. You don't want to give in to his strength. And that's what happens when you give me a fastball. Right field, and it's gonna Upper deck. Right there we go. Solo shot that time from Chase That's what we're talking about. Number 13 for him on the year. Wow. The Phillies have come back to tie this one at two. We have ourselves a ball game, folks. One of the keys for him getting the victory in his last start. He did not allow a home run in that outing. But this is now two home runs he served up here in the first few innings. You can bet there's a bit of concern over there in that dugout. Well, he plays in San Diego where they don't serve up home run balls because there is no home runs there. We'll see if he can do it again. Philadelphia is the home run capital of the world. Basically telling us to put the shift on. Oh my gosh! Up, man. It's one and all. Oof. That was right there. Pretty lucky there. That seemed to catch a lot of the plate. Like I said, it's like it happens both ways and stuff. That's why I don't get overly mad when I'm pitching. On a big swing as he takes this one to the opposite field. High and deep to left center. Oh, I missed just by a little bit. Wall. And with that, the side is retired. One for the Phils, and it comes courtesy of this home run by Chase Utley. We played three full, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Chase Headley will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. Third baseman, Chase Headley. Now here's the first pitch. And he'll start. I might, get, I might be able to get Hernandez to just six innings. One. Wing, hard hit ball to second. Throw to first in time, one gone here in the fourth. Seth Smith will stand in. A bit his first time around. And they start him out away with a cold strike. And I think now you're starting to get the sense 
that he's put that first inning behind him, and he looks a lot more comfortable out there now. Now a ball lifted high in the air towards shallow right center field. Nice two pitch He'll out. Take this in without much trouble, and two are gone here to start the fourth. Boy, he had to go a long way into the outfield to make this play. I kept thinking he was going to get called off, but he must have kept shouting for it, so he stays with it and pulls it in. Yosmani Grandal will dig in here. Took a called third strike his first time. Watches a fastball right there for strike one. Late swing and a ball line foul into the seats past the third base dugout. And this will be fouled away. Both clubs with three hits in the ball game. That's on the ground to short. This should end the inning. Up with it is Rollins. Throw on to the first baseman Howard, and with that, the side is retired. Carlos Ruiz will lead things off here in the home half of the fourth. First pitch is a breaking ball, taken down and away for ball one. Uh, had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. And he checks his swing. Around. Yes, says the first base umpire. Strike two. This one here is for the second baseman, Jerko. Throws in time, and that's out number one. When we have a tie game, it's just... The nice part is I'm home this time, so now it's like I get last at bat. Dominic Brown will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. First pitch on its way from Johnson. And this is fouled straight back. And he just gets a piece there as this is chopped foul. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Marlon Bird will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. Foul back. Lined into left center. And this is into the alley and ought to be good for extra bases. Around first on his way to second now. And the throw in gets away from him. Oh, I ran right into him. The tag on the I thought he was going to be able to beat him to the area and get to third. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. Through four. We're I saw that it was wide. I just thought he was going to be able to beat him. Oh, that stinks. Wow. Josh Johnson will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. In there. Well, if it is by one, I can think about that one for a little while. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. And they take him out of the zone here, and he obliges. Not the greatest of swings there for the first out. Yeah, he's able to set down his opposite number there. And I'll tell you, these two guys have pretty much matched each other pitch for pitch so far. Everett Cabrera will step in. One for two in the ballgame. This is swung on and popped up. Crossing into foul territory now behind third. And no one can get there. It's a foul ball. And they guessed right on the bunt, but this is going to be close. And they will get Cabrera at first as the bunt for hit attempt goes for naught. Hey, that's not a bad idea. It's been a few innings since they've been able to dent the scoreboard. So he's got the speed to beat those out. This was just a nice play defensively, and they get him by a step or two. Christian Orphia will stand in now with two away, trying to avoid another one, two, three inning. Yeah, this has been total domination these past few innings. They haven't been able to mount any kind of threat whatsoever. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. 
Yonder Alonso get an opportunity here in a run scoring spot now following the two out double. He'll start him here with a changeup, but it's taken for ball one. For Denorfia, he's in scoring position with his 15th double of the year. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Well, it's pretty obvious to me right here. First base is open following that double. I don't think they have any intention of giving him anything in the strike zone. Well, obviously not biting on the first two, so they'll go ahead and give him the freebie here. Jed Jerko. See what he can do here with two on and two out. Oh, with two outs, I don't do that, but lefty on righty and... Hernandez stats against that. Don't be surprised if he has a big cut or something. Maybe try and break this tie ball. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. Padres leave a pair. Halfway home, tied to a peak. Cody Ashy will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. And on one pitch, he's retired. Roberto Hernandez will try it again. He flew out his first time. And a fastball's in there for strike one. Well, you see his pitch count on your screen right there. That's not a mistake. He's been loving those first pitch outs. That's for sure. He gives me something right over the middle. I'm not swinging. There's one that misses high. It's one and one. Pitcher, you have to be extra pitchy. I gave him one there. Just said I wouldn't do that. And this has been a common problem for all of these guys. They just can't lay off that pitch down and away. Well, it's a nice looking pitch. With two balls and two strikes now. It should be three and one, but now it's two, two and two. Now here's the pitch. Swing and he takes this get in? the way to right. No. Nope. Uh, this will hang just long enough for him to run it down in shallow right for the second out. And as we take a look at his pitch count so far, sometimes numbers can be misleading. And you see the 38 strikes there, but a lot of those have been on pitches out of the zone that he's gotten guys to swing. Curveball, and that misses in the dirt for ball one. And here's a big swing as he sends this one in the air out toward deep center. Venable is going to have room out there as he put... Will Venable will step in now to lead off the inning as his guys look to maybe break the rut they've been stuck in. Yeah, and after that first inning, it's been all zero since. And once he kind of got settled into that groove, he's been a difficult nut to crack. Oh, and you talk about a pitcher getting the benefit of the doubt. That's low, but called to strike anyway. Nothing in two now. Some would say he's showing good patience here, Ooh. waiting for his pitch. But as a number five hitter, I he was think given he that last pitch, he was get taken away that pitch. Man, I was right there. And now a ball hit fairly well here out to the deep part of left field. Brown is going to get back, and he'll put this one away on the warning track for the first out. And this is a tough read for an outfielder off the bat because the ball's taken the other way and deep. But he makes up the difference quickly and is able to range back into the corner and make the play. Chase Headley will dig in for the third time now. He's struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. In there for strike one. And if he's getting tired, it's not showing in his slider. That pitch is still as tight as it was in the second inning. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And he'll take this to the bag himself. And there are two away now. Seth Smith will dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. And he gets a nice. one. And maybe that's off the black just a little bit, but when you're around the plate as much as he's been, you're going to find that you're going to get a nice. ball like that. And this is foul. Okay, we're going to go high, in, high here. Hits are now even at four feet. And 
he Ooh. struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Padres down in order. Home half of the sixth inning coming up. Deadlocked at two apiece. This is going to be tough because we're going into the seventh. Jimmy Rollins. Top of the lineup. Philadelphia to be followed on deck by Chase Utley. But I got to be ready because I've used a lot of pitches. Here's Johnson back to work now as he jumps ahead of the leadoff man. No balls in a strike. For that man right there, you need look back only to his last start to see a performance like the one he's shown here so far. And well on his way to another great outing. And that's what you get when you mix your speeds and throw a lot of strikes. Get out of here. Big get out. This one get out. And deep to right center. Oh. And this is down for Rollins. He's got extra bases. Oh, it. Right past him. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And he will make it up to third base, as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. I tell you, these folks have not had a whole lot to cheer about so far. But you know, with the exception of an inside the parker, nothing seems to light See, up. I, I thought it was going to be a double, and he missed it there. The and that was the problem. The throw wasn't really a big deal. Chase Utley. But that's what gave me the extra base. Before he takes his cuss here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. I like it's another home run or another like a deep fly ball. Can't strike out. I don't want to ground out. Do I have is the infield? No, the infield's playing back. There's a first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. Got to say, for a strikeout pitcher, not too many strikeouts here so far. And he's in a big need of one right here. It would definitely come in handy. Now a ball hit there you go, right up the middle. And that will get down as he delivers a big one here. Nice rookie by Chase Utley. And that'll score the runner from third as they seize control here, three to two. Just a perfect swing right there. You'll see it. Head down, eyes right on the baseball all the way. Great extension. He just drives this thing in the center field to score that runner from third. And now Bud Black is up out of the Padres dugout, heading for the mound. And that's going to be all tonight for Josh Johnson. He'll wind up lasting just five innings here. Didn't pitch all that poorly, yet he's gone nonetheless. Joaquin Benoit will get the assignment on the mound here as he'll enter with the runner at first and nobody out. Wow, 5.56 ERA. Ryan Howard will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. At first is Utley, the pitch. Fastball off the plate away for ball one. Up around the letters with that one for ball two. Got to be careful here with a run in already. You don't want to let one get away from you and lose the possibility of a double play. Three runs, six hits, and one error in the ballgame for the Phillies so far. He got his 2-0 fastball, but he was way behind, 2-1. Doing a good job right there of tying him up inside. Got in on his hands that time before he could get that barrel through the zone. And the bat. Offer it to 2-1 and send it in the air out to right. Denorfia is there to put it away for route number one. 
This crowd oohs and ahs every time this guy hits a fly ball. But he didn't get all of that one, and it's pretty much a can of corn. Carlos Ruiz will stand in with a run in, one out and one on here in the inning. I thought Carlos Ruiz would play better for me this season. He hasn't played that well. I thought he would hit like 270, 280. First pitch of the AB is swung on and lifted in the air and turned away center. Therefore, it is Venable, and that's out number two. Whoa, and as a pitcher, you hold your breath anytime a ball's hit in the air at this place. But luckily, he got under this ball a little bit too much. That runner has to retreat back to first base. Dominic Brown will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Gets yes, under this one as this is hit high and pretty deep out there to center field. Venable will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Phillies get a couple of hits here and it leads to one on the scoreboard. Seventh inning coming up. Phillies lead this one three to two. Welcome back to Citizens Bank Park here in Philadelphia. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. 93 pitches. I'm going to see if I can get now through a couple pitch. more batters. Reaches for one and slaps it down the line at third. Throw will not be in time, so good hustle there is now the possible tying run as aboard to lead things off here. Well, we've seen winning rallies get started with less than miss. This is going to be an infield single all the way, and now they're in business with the leadoff man on base to start this inning. Swing and a ground ball to first. Rollins back to first, but it's right over his head. And now, oh, this ball's going to wind up out of play. And a big mistake there. Well, this is a good job to get the first out of the play, but the return throw leaves a little to be desired. And that'll wind up being a huge throwing error that allows the batter to reach second. Everett Cabrera will have a shot of driving home that possible tying run that's standing at second. Okay, switch hitter. Um, actually, that would be kind of better. Aaron Loop will come on and pitch here with one gun in the top of the seventh. We lost that last game. I'll try to give him, give him a chance to redeem himself. Take this guy out of the left-handed box where he's so fast. And he tries to hold back on the swing, but I think it would have been ruled a strike anyway. It's nothing in one. Give him that extra step. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. Two runs, five hits. No errors in the ball game for the Padres. To the right side, and that's going to get through. It's a base hit. The throw home. No! 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 will stand in here, but before he does... Oh, I can't believe it! This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. That hits the outside corner, it's strike one. Maybe a spot to pitch out on 0-1? Well, I think he wants to go, no doubt. Might not be too bad an idea. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Still sticking with the fastball, but this time he lays off. It's one and two. And that's a good spot for that fastball on 0-2. That couldn't have been an easy take. Therefore, it is Bird now as he's got it for route number two. You see this ball start slicing away from him toward the end here, but he winds up staying right with it and running it down. Yonder Alonso will step in and we'll see if they decide to pitch to him this time around. No! 
in there. No balls and a strike. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And he goes up the ladder on him, but he lays off one and two. Maybe a good opportunity here. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. So both starting pitchers are out of the loop now. Padre is able to pick up one on a couple of hits. Wow. Bottom of the seventh now. Get up and stretch here in Philly. And we are all tied at three apiece. Nick Vincent will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seven. Marlon Bird will step in now to lead off the home half of the seventh. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Line hard into left, but coming on quickly is the left fielder to make the play for the first down. Well, this ball was hit pretty hard, and he's just hoping to get on base as the go-ahead run. But it kind of hangs up there a little bit too long, and it finds the outfielder's glove. Cody Ashey will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Hello? What's up? No. And this one's down off the shoe tops, 1-0. Oh. Well, I'm playing a game online. Probably like 20 minutes. Okay, and, and Luke's not done. Well, we can wait 10, 20 minutes. I'm basically in the seventh inning of a ball game. Okay. I'll come and get him then. Okay. Love you, bye. Wife and kids are at the pool. One kid wants to stay. One kid doesn't want to stay. And a fastball here, but he's right on that thing as this is smoked into center field for a base hit. All for your live viewing pleasure. couple of hard hit balls here to start the inning. Well, the first one found a glove, but not this one, though. He's on with a one out single. Well, of course, I'm going to put a pinch hitter up. I believe they had a right handed pitcher up. Rafael for call. We'll get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Number 15. Now here's the first pitch. And here's a cold strike to the 36-year-old veteran. It's nothing in one. A look here at the hits per side here in the late going. And oh, you talk about Whoa. the pitcher's call. There's one there, and it's 0-2. I think generous is the word here. That looked like it was six inches off the plate. Too high. One and two. I, I think that fastball is just for show there. He's not trying to throw this for a strike. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Oh, Everybody say second and it's too late. Now that's the Padres that I know and love. That's great. But you know what? There are some plays that just have to be made, especially late in the ball game. And after that defensive breakdown, the go-ahead run's now going to move into scoring position. Wow, that's a huge mistake. And I'll take it. I'll call it the white calls and screw it up the Padres rhythm. Step in now in a big spot here in a game as close as this one. And a chance at redemption, too, because he hasn't done much through his first three plate appearances, but he can make up for all of that with a base hit right here. Just a single will do it. And too high with the cut fastball. It's 1-0 now. 
pretty good speed here coming out of that left-handed batter's box. So it's no sure thing that a ground ball means a double play. Out of play off to the right. It's one and one. First and second now, one man out. Now a ball lined towards center field. That's in there, base hit. Around third and being waved on home. But it is not in time. As there you go. The lead here in the late going. Tim Stoffer will come on and try to get out of this mess here as there are two on with only one away. Number 46, Tim Stoffer. The new. Can you get that guy out? I don't think I can get him out. Well, you're just going to have to try. Jimmy Rollins will be the first to greet him here as he'll do so with runners at the corners and only one out. Huge opportunity. Blow this game. Open. And he takes ball one. Nail binding time now in that third base dugout. Well, things are starting to spiral here, and you've got to make sure this doesn't spin completely out of control. One zero. -oh. Runners flanking for the plate. They go away here as he reaches for one and hits it on the ground to third. Throw on to first, so they get the out, but a big insurance run is in to score as the lead grows to two now. Well, he's going to wind up scoring the run, and this will be a fielder's choice and an RBI, but somebody had a miss sign somewhere because he never should have been swinging the bat with a runner charging down that third baseline. Keeping him close there at second. Now the pitch. Swing and a ball bounced back up the middle. Throw on to Alonzo. Takes care of him. And that ends the inning. So it's two runs on two hits. One error. And a runner left on. Eighth inning coming up. It's the Phillies five. And the Padres three. Okay. We got a right-hander and lefty. This is actually tough. Um, I'm going to do both. Justin DeFreitas will be summoned from the bullpen now as he'll take over to start inning number eight. Jed Jerko will get us going now in the top half of the eight. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. And, and this is just off the outside corner ball two. You got to think one thing here. Get on base. A walk will do the trick. And he gets the slider over here. It's two and one now. Good fastball that time as he's pulled the count back to even now. It's two and two. Mm, a little confused. Yes. That there you go. And he reaches for one out of the zone and misses rather badly for the first out. Will Venable will stand in, and they've been able to hold him in check so far. 0 for 3 to this point. Yeah, it's kind of surprising that he's been a non-factor in this one. Usually a major force in their offense. Your attention, please. Now so with a lefty the waiting, they'll go to a lefty of their own out of the bullpen here. Now some movement out in the Phillies' bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen. Outside target here, and he hits it for strike one. That thing's coming in there hot. 96 miles an hour. Ah, oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Ah, oh, that thing's knee-high on the outside third of the plate. Pretty understandable why he couldn't catch up with that one. Our line score to this point tells the story. You see the Phillies leading this one at home here at Citizens Bank Park as we draw nearer to the end. Chase Headley is at the plate now, and he takes a cold strike. Yeah, the best way to neutralize this guy's power, just keep putting pitches right there. And he lays off for ball one. Now a swing as he hits this one into the air. But this will be foul off to the right out of play. 
swing and a light center. And this will get over his glove as he couldn't quite get up all the way. It's a base hit. Seth Smith will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. Do you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning? The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. That's on the inside corner to put him behind here. Nothing in tune. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0-2 fastball. It's 1-2. and two. And a fastball See ya. down and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Padres leave one. Still. Ryan Howard will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number eight. Looks like double-barreled action now in the San Diego bullpen as they get a lefty and a right-hander up to throw. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And that's a base hit, so a chance for some important insurance here to kick off the bottom of the eighth. Here's a situation where he just says, shift. What shift? I tell you, you got to hit a ball awfully, awfully hard to get it through an alignment like that. But he's able to do it here. Carlos Ruiz will stand in. He flew out his last time up. A ball hit hard to the left side. A leap here, but it ticks off his glove. Ah, but they will still get the lead runner at second, so no double play. But, boy, very fortunate to record the first out there. You really have no chance to get two on this play. You can see how the ball's fielded deep in the hole, so he has to pivot back against his body just to get the throw off. And by then, they had to be just content with getting the lead man. And here's the first pitch. Dominic Brown. Swings and misses there, so he's down 0-1. Now he's probably lucky he didn't make contact on that one. Fastball misses in the dirt as he tried to get him to chase the low one. This one's tapped foul at home plate. Swing and a hot shot towards the hole. And that's by him into right field for a base hit. And the throw will come back in quickly, so it's first and second now with only one away. So it's a tight spot here. First and second, one man out. And standing in now is Marlon Bird. Curveball is nowhere close, and it's 1-0. And you know, I've always thought, if you're pretty sure a guy might be trying to bunt, then put that first pitch out of the strike zone. Make him show you his intentions. Maybe you get him to offer it something that he shouldn't. Now here's a ball hit hard on the right ground. Right to short. him. A bare hand for one. On to Alonzo. It's a double play, and the inning is over. One left for Philadelphia, and it remains five to three. I think you hit something nice, and it hit it right nice and hard. For them, they had the easy double play. It wasn't even close. Yosmani Grandal will stand in, needing to get things started here in the top of the ninth. And here we go, the closer. Three outs to go here, and to try to shut the door is the veteran right-hander, Mike Adams. Number 37, Mike. Here we go with inning number nine as the first pitch misses for ball one. Yeah, looked like he hit the target. That's a tough pitch to lay off, but he made it pan out. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Yeah, and that's not always an easy play for a pitcher, especially when he has to barehand the ball. But luckily, he's got plenty of time out there, so he's able to set himself and then make a good, strong throw. Number 21 will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. And a ball, 1-0. And that's getting bailed out of play. Got fastball, and it's by him, 1-1. One and, one. and he'll just fire.
fight this one off as it's chopped foul. And this is a strike Ooh. three call. Caught a break there. Two oh. away. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's fair to say he didn't care too much about that call lately. But was he right? Show track says. Yeah, I think he's got a little bit of a beef up there. That pitch looked to be a good few inches off the plate, and that's a tough way to go down. You know, no hitter likes to have the bat taken out of his hands. And this is fought off at the plate as it's chopped foul. On a ball hit hard down the line toward the coaching box, it's a foul ball. Now a crowd announced at a bit over 23,000 comes to their feet. Just a touch outside, one and two. Close, but it's oh. not a yet. It's all two. That was a better looking pitch than the other one. So that's a tough pitch to lay off. Man. Here's the swing and a chance for Howard over at first. And a step on first for the out and the ball game is over. And that turns out to be a great start to this series for these guys as they take game one here in front of the home crowd. Not sure why we get video fireworks and other stadiums get real fireworks. Now you put it, we did good. Before we take our leave, time for a look at our final line score here in what turned out to be a close two-run victory. And the Phillies offensively here tonight were led by the exploits of this man, Chase Utley. Can't ask for much more. He's our top player of the game. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ballgame. So it's a big win, big win. We're turning this around. We're... Staying ahead of Miami in the standings, uh, we're fourth place, and um, hopefully we'll be moving more and more forward. We're approaching mid-June. Um, I gotta be over 500 by the end of the month. Um, you can see the games we have up against San Diego, um, Chicago is a losing team. Atlanta's ahead of us in the standings. This is a big point in everything for us to catch up to Atlanta and you know, we'll possibly overtake them. It's in Atlanta, though. And then we got a four-game set in San Luis. San Luis is having a horrible season. I mean, it's and Miami's already behind us. So there's there's games here we can take. So anyway, this is David B. 69. I'm out.